Hi, I'm Emma Nielsen from Linköping University presenting our work on encoding probability in gradient-based tracking of extrema. In our previous work, we tracked extrema, which are minima and maxima, in a scalar field. Computationally, there are two approaches that can be used, following integral lines from the current extrema in the next time step, or matching them based on what ascending or descending manifold of the scalar field they fall into in the next time step. Both methods will yield the same result. In the example image, we show how the maxima A, B, C will be matched with the maxima X, Y, Z in the next time step, following along integral lines using the steepest ascent of the gradient in the scalar field. However, this is a one-to-one -one mapping in each temporal direction, and the approaches fail when extreme are in regions with low gradient magnitude or are located close to boundaries of the manifolds. See an example in the image below. We have a large blue manifold and two smaller ones in each time step. The extrema are adjacent to the boundaries of the manifolds, but since they do not overlap, the one-to-one -one gradient tracking will not be able to capture this connection, despite the light green and pink extrema being spatially close. As demonstrated, the previous method has cases where it may fail. To mitigate these issues, we enrich each correspondence in a tracking graph with more information. We do this by defining the probability of a match based on two different strategies. For the first strategy, we define a distance threshold and a distance function that assigns distances between vertices in the domain. On the right, we show two examples of distance functions, Euclidean distance and combinatorial distance within the grid. The big colored points are extrema, while the small white points are sample points in the local neighborhood. We consider B and A to be separate features and want them matched in both temporal directions to themselves. In the sampling strategy, all vertices with distance to the current extrema beneath the threshold are added to a vertex set, which in our example is when they are beneath the threshold of 1. For each vertex in the set, we take the position and see what manifold that vertex falls into in the next or previous time step. When each vertex is processed, we have a list of matches and how many vertices are matched with each extrema. The probability is given by dividing the number of matches with the cardinality of the vertex sample set. For the examples in the figure on the right, we have for the Euclidean distance that B1 is matched with A0 with 60% probability and to B0 with 40%. For the combinatorial distance, we instead have 43 and 57% respectively. A1 is 100% matched to A0 with both distance functions. For our second strategy, we look at the entire manifolds. For each extrema we track, we calculate the size of the manifold by summing the number of vertices within. We create correspondences by checking how many vertices of an extrema's manifold in time step t falls into manifolds in t minus 1 or t plus 1. We once again get a list of matches, and the probability is derived by dividing the overlaps with the size of the manifold of the current extrema. Here, B1 is matched to A0 with about 38% probability, and to B0 with 62% probability. A1 will no longer be fully matched to A0, instead it's matched with only 52% probability. The key difference in our proposed strategies is that the sampling is a local approach while the manifold overlap is a global approach. Finally, an example of what our strategies can do. We track an extratropical storm across Europe using pressure minima. And as you can see, a previous method cannot capture connections, see the circled area in the tracking graph. However, all our sampling strategies can capture this connection and accord a probability to it. While the connection here does not have a higher probability than a connection to the extreme over Iceland, it yields a far more informative result than previous methods. In conclusion, the advantages of our methods are that we can capture connections previous methods could not. We can derive more information about each connection and the information can be used to filter the tracking graph in a post-processing step. Finally, the proposed strategies also work for hierarchical features based on groups of extrema, 
which you can read more about in our paper. Thank you.